PowerPoint, Module 2, Modifying a Presentation. Go ahead and start. Start your, click your start file. And you can save it now or later. If you look at this PowerPoint, make sure you enable editing. There are a total of one of five slides. And on the far right, you have the double arrows. That takes you to slide two, slide three, slide four. The double up arrows takes you to previous slides, back to slide one. We're going to actually click into slide four and click service. So this is a bulleted list in this content holder. And to make it more appealing for um, a presentation instead of just a bulleted, they have what's called smart art. So it makes it more attractive on a presentation. So in the paragraph group, you have convert to smart art graphic. If you hover over each one, it tells you what it is and how it, you get a preview, a live preview of what it would look like. The textbook would like vertical block list. Then of course, they'd like you to change your mind. So in the layouts tab, under more, choose pyramid. Then under smart art styles, click the down arrow for more options. And again, if you hover over them, you'll get a live preview. There's also 3D effects. So as you hover over them, you get to see what they look like. And the textbook would like inset. Then click back in slide four thumbnail and it takes you out of the smart art text box. Click slide three and we are going to ins insert an arrow pentagon. So on the home tab in the drawing group select shapes and in arrow block arrows pentagon. Now when here's your arrow to create it before you hold the left mouse and drag hold shift and then drag. It's a crisper, cleaner, neater um, shape. And you can also, if you use your double arrows, make it wider if you need to, wider, whatever you, you need to make it look like the, the one in the textbook. And those are adjustment handles. We're going to change the fill. So uh, under shape styles, shape fill, we're going with orange accent six. And then for the outline, we're going to choose shape outline, white, text one, go back to outline, under dashes, select long, long dash. And then we're going to change our mind. So select more under shape styles. And have you, as you hover over each one, these are from the theme styles. You get a live preview. And we're looking for intense effect gold accent four and we'll also go back to shape effects and we want a reflection and we would like a tight reflection touching and then click anywhere outside of the picture with your arrow selected we're going to change the rotation so from your shape format click rotate and select you can check all of them flip horizontal and then go into rotate and more rotation options and we're going to change the rotation to 45 degrees press enter and of course we don't like that so we're going to click undo on the quick access toolbar or control Z and then we're going to change it to rotate and this time we're going to choose rotate right and then you know what? We're going to change our mind completely and edit the shape. So in the insert shapes, edit shape, change shape, and the shape we're going for is called frame. And then we're going to do one more rotate, rotate left 90 degrees. There we go. We'll be back on slide five, right click and choose delete slides. And now we only have four slides. Go back to slide three and click anywhere independent workers and if you notice this is a smart uh, content control box and it exceeds the length of our our um, frame our box so we're just going to go to the uh, middle sizing handle and bring it to the left close to agents so we have plenty of space over here for our, our object 
and we're going to add another shape. So select, so nothing selected, and under shapes, this time it is a basic shape and it's a pentagon. So go ahead and click that. And again, to get a sharper um, shape, hold shift and drag. And then with the four arrows, we're going to drag it over the frame. Now what you're looking for are sizing. Um, these are called smart guides. And I want to have both a horizontal and there we go, horizontal and vertical. So it's right smack in the middle of the shape. And if you need to, you can make it a little wider, taller. But basically, you also want to resize it so that it's right in the middle. So I got the middle. There we go. Took a while, but I got it. If this window is open, the format shape, go ahead and close out of here. And then click the Home tab, and in the Select group, choose Selection Pane, and a different window opens. And what we want to do, I'm just going to make this one a little bit taller. We want to take the Pentagon frame and move it backward, send backward, so that the, the frame box, the rectangle one, goes in front of it. And then select that frame as well, so hold Shift and select it. So both of them are selected and then make sure you select shape format and then we're going to click merge shapes, but do not click anything. Just hover over just to see um, the preview of what this would do. We're not going to select anything. We're just looking and then click back over here outside. Now we'll select outside again, just the Pentagon shape, but this time move forward. Now hold shift and select the frame and then do the same thing. Merge shapes. Do not click anything. Just preview it. And then click away. So this time what we're going to do is select the frame object first, then hold control and or not control shift and click the pentagon shape. And this time we are going to go to merge shapes and we are going to select subtract. And you kind of have the image of the pentagon through the, um, the rectangle. And then to close our selection pane, just click selection pane and that go closes. Right, right, um, first left click so you, you deselect the object, then right click and choose ruler. So you get a ruler that appears above your horizontal ruler. You also get a vertical ruler, but that shows up. And then we're going to drag the middle right sizing handling handle. So um, click the picture so it's selected and just make it a little bit longer, about a half inch. Then what we'll do with the object selected, we're going to drag it up and so that the yellow edge on the left hand side is even at the zero. There we go. Perfect. See the red line and let go. So we want to make two more of the exact object. So with the object selected, hold control and on the bottom of it, hold and drag. And you're just going to make a copy of it. And then another way you could do it is click home, copy, and then paste. And you just have to move it underneath. I like the control and drag, but either way is fine. And then if you want, you can choose view and uncheck ruler. And then with this one already typed, just start, or already selected, just type growth. And then middle one supply and then the top one trend so click up in in a blank area and now to, so nothing is selected and you're going to right click and choose grid and guidelines and then select grid lines so you get all these grid lines appearing in the background. So next what we'll do, so again with the four arrows, just drag it into place. 
and then in, again in the empty space right click over to grid and grid lines and this time I'm going to have you click guides so what appeared here besides the grid lines are just two it goes down the, the middle and there's one that goes across in the middle which is um, horizontal and what you want to do is when you see double arrows drag it and you want to go to 183 and then do the same thing with the horizontal maybe I'll do it over here there we go 183 and then that's where you want to put the trend so now you can drag it there maybe a little bit good so now you do the same thing for supply so if you hold um, if you click anywhere to, and then hold shift click supply and growth and then you can move them both at the same time into that place then shift to select the, um, all of them so shift and what we'll do to select all of them on the format choose align and select align right mine didn't move too much I was pretty good and then choose align again and this time distribute vertically it looked pretty lined up and then we'll group them group so it's all one object then you can move both the horizontal and the vertical lines back to zero so look for those double arrows nice on the view tab go ahead and uncheck grid lines and um, guides add slide footers click the insert tab click header and footer select date and time make sure update automatically is selected choose the third option where it's our, actually the fourth option select slide number select footer type your name click don't show on all title slides click apply to all so it should be on all of them click slide one and then choose the header and footer don't show on this um, check it off so it it will be on the title but we want something different so choose footer so we are on slide one the only thing we changed was the footer so that it says always looking forward and this one will be on the title slide and then just apply so it's just on the first one with no page page number or slide number click transitions in the more group choose page curl in the effects option choose double right the duration should be two minutes click preview apply to all uncheck on mouse click and increase the time to seven apply to all click the slideshow on the status bar and save and submit